The advent of the nuclear age may have accelerated the mutation process. Individuals with extraordinary abilities may already be among us. Thank you very much. McTaggart, you really think that some crackpot scientist is going to make me believe in sparkly dames and vanishing men? You just bought yourself a one-way ticket back to the typing pool. This meeting is over. Uh, please sit down, Agent McTaggart. I didn't really expect you to believe me, given that all you could think about during my presentation was what sort of pie they were serving in the commissary. It's apple pecan. I haven't been entirely honest with you, love. I'm sorry. You see, one of the many spectacular things my mutation allows me to do is that I can read your mind. I've seen this before in a magic show. Are you going to ask us to think of a number between 1 and 10 now? <laughs> No, Agent Stryker, although um, I could ask you about your son, William, who you were thinking about, which is very nice, but I think I'd rather ask you about the Jupiter missiles America are currently placing in Turkey. He's a goddamn spy. You brought a goddamn spy into this facility. How's that for a magic trick? Best I've ever seen. I want them out of here. And locked down until I can figure out what to do. My facility's off-site. I'll take them. I can't believe this. You think the director of the CIA would have a little more composure? We should be going after Shaw right now, but instead he's up there worrying about the wrong mutants. What are we gonna do, Levine? Levine? Levine, what's wrong with you? Absolutely nothing. I've just frozen him for a moment because I'd like to talk to you. It's good, isn't it? I'm as interested in this Sebastian Shaw as you are, and if you still want my help, meet me on the third floor of the parking garage. I've always known that there were people like you out there. I've been the laughing stock of this agency for years, but I knew it. You were going to love my facility. That's going to have to wait. Why? Agent McTaggart has a lead on Sebastian Shaw, and if we don't move now, apparently, we're going to lose him. What? Not only can he read minds, he can communicate with them as well. Laura and I have just had a lovely conversation. Yes, we did. That is incredible. <laughs> but but I, I cannot take you anywhere else without permission from upstairs. Would you like to see one more magic trick? Okay. Get in the car. Good idea. 